hello everyone welcome back to the channel is Marilyn here and I hope that all of you are safe and well in these hard times I have a video tutorial a page with multiple photos sometimes that you ask me and I will do this today but first let me show you the vintage art artistry collections this is so beautiful love the sage colors and the softness i select this paper that is the delicate paper from the sage collections but i want to uh, show you uh, the sage stitches frame that i am also uh, going to use but first let me prepare the paper and i need to primer uh, and I apply clear gesso with a spatula and I put the, the thin coat of the clear gesso over all the paper. Now I'm going to let it dry and meanwhile I will work with the stitches frame. And this is my, the big photo that I have and I need a mat for this photo because I'm going to adhere uh, the frame to the border of the mat. Once I cut the mat, I will uh, add now a little of uh, liquid glue to the borders and I'm going to adhere the frame, but check here the frame how awesome it is with all the stitches. It had six sacks, many stitches different. I love it. And now I'm going to adhere it and with one frame I will uh, put it in two of in the other uh, two photos. And you can see here how everything looks so far, what I did with the, with the frames. Now I cut off the border of the paper, but check, it has a, the other side has a lace, so I will save this for a future project. Now I have the big photo and the two smaller, and these are the laser cuts this collection has two pages of laser cuts and i already uh, take some of the laser cut like this one that for me it looks like a seam biting with the stitches i'm not sure oh the frame is still wet i i put some pins to uh, secure the frames to the photo and now i have another one of the seam biting of the laser cut because I'm not sure <laughs> if, if they are uh, seam binding but I call in that way and some of the other laser pieces here and I have these leaves that I love I am trying I don't know after being at home after I have been in in home oh, almost more than one month I think so so I need to create something that give me peace and uh, with love of leaves, something with, you know, like the photo, with a lot of nature. So I am trying to bring this in this page. Uh, and for the bottom part here of my page, I cut one of the St. Biden's uh, strip by half. And I am creating here uh, on, the t on the bottom part uh, a design. And basically, this is the the my base for my page and I take a pencil now I am tracing around all these uh, things here is the stamp one of the new of stamps from 49 American and I'm going to use some of the stamps like the numbers and the butterfly with versa mark now I'm using my anti-static powder to apply in the areas that I'm going to stamp because I'm going to use embossing powder and I am following all the pencil lines that I have on the background. So I am stamping around all this area. And now I'm going to use embossing powder. This is in white color and apply over here. But let me remove all this. Give me one moment and I'm going to remove everything. And now I am uh, uh, eliminate the excess of the powder and I continue stamping and adding more embossing and you can see here how lovely it looks when I uh, with the heel tooth you uh, that I melt all the embossing powder and you can see here the design 
And to show you what I'm doing, I place the photo and the other, and you can see that I am uh, like a frame all this with the stamping and the embossing. And now I'm going to use these lips and I'm going to stamp in here between, uh, you see the pencil mark because they are where I'm going to put the lines of the seam binding, how I call it. And I am stamping between all these lines with the, with the same stamp. And I will continue doing this around all the pencil mark that I uh, make uh, on the paper. You can see uh, all the stamping uh, in the areas that I uh, added because one I start to place everything you will see and this is the the, the embossing powder by Blue Fern Studio and the color is, is snow. Now I'm going to add more texture and I'm I already paint a piece of cheesecloth in a green color and I am just uh, put them on the background uh, in the areas that I'm going want to add all the flowers later. And look the beautiful lace by 49 and Market. I just need uh, pieces of this lace because in that way I can create more layers and textures using different elements like the lace, the cheesecloth, and I put it behind the seam bindings. And I'm going to add a tiny piece of lace here. And to give a more vintage look to the page, I decided to distress ink all the borders of the laser cut using vintage photo. These are the beautiful flowers that I'm going to use. Look how gorgeous they are. They are vines. And now I will uh, continue here adding all. Y you can, uh, for the full list of supplies, please check the, blo the blog. Uh, I will let you the link in the description box and where you can find all the supplies, the names, etc. Now I will continue uh, building my composition here with all the different elements. Okay, now it's time to uh, adhere everything. I will do carefully. I, I'm going to start uh, with the strips here that I already adhered 3D foam tape, but to secure everything, I will add uh, more glue. And I'm going now to adhere everything. Okay, everything is adhered now. You can see here. Now I'm going to add 
color with the distress ink I'm use this color that is a uh, sage and I'm using this brush to apply the ink over uh, around all the area here that have that has the stamp uh, work and you can see when I apply the ink how I uh, how I highlight all the texture of the embossing powder, the stamp work on the background. That was the, the reason that I apply around all the lines because I want to enhance all this uh, white area with the ink. And I will continue uh, inking here and there. I will add many layers. And, and if you want a strong color, you can use an inst I'm using this dress ink that uh, it uh, this one give you a little of color, but it's not the same that uh, ink, a regular ink like the distress oxide ink. And you can see here how everything looks so far. Look the how awesome looks the butterfly uh, and look everything uh, here. You see the, the leaves, all the things, the butterflies, the number. I can highlight everything now uh, after I ink in. Uh, and here I add a piece of lace. This one and the other one I move it to the top because in that way uh, I can show you. And look what I did behind the leaves. I put 3D foam tames small to give more dimension and depth on my work and here are some of the butterflies and these uh, from the laser cuts that I'm going to add here uh, here and there on my page and the big butterfly I think that it goes here in this corner and now uh, this the circular this one it looks like buttons but it looks like a metal button something like that and I'm going to add here here and there on my page And for my title, I use the Sherish Ward from one of the shoe boards. And I'm going to use the Versa Mark with the same embossing powder that is the snow color to apply to the word Sherish. Now I check the excess and I melt the embossing powder with the heat tool. Now I I'm going to add a little of liquid glue and adhere it to the page here on the bottom of the frame. Now the title is ready and look how everything looks so far. Now look these tiny flowers that I will add at the end and, and I also add some leaves here and I have this one for here and here I, I am planning to add it in this corner not sure yet but now I'm going to add some wishing bubbles in sage color or green color and I am adding here and there on my page. Okay, now I'm going to add more textures. I'm using the micro beads with gel medium. And I'm going to adhere these micro beads on the background in the area that I uh, add the ink the sage ink and I, I will add uh, layers of these micro beads and uh, I wish that you can see on person because it has like a sparkle this glitz uh, these micro beads look so pretty and I will show you at the end and I will add this around all the area here
I add some pearls now. And now I'm adding over the flowers, the leaves, and over the fabric some art stone with gel medium. I apply the art stone with the paintbrush, creating different layers of uh, different elements. In that way, I can create depth and more uh, textures and dimensions on my project. Okay, now I cover my uh, my photos and I am giving white paint splatters over all the work. And now I'm adding a vintage photo <laughs> uh, ink splatter because this is ink and this is the final result. You can see here all the dimensions that this project has. Look how lovely all the micro bits give this light on the background. I just love the mix of the vintage uh, uh, embellishment with the glitter of the micro bits. It's like a balance between one thing and the other. And it looks the tiny flowers that I add at the end. And here are some photos that you can see well, my friends, I hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I see you soon with other video tutorial. Nos vemos. Bye bye. And please take care and be safe. Bye.